So today I'm here with Rod from Emu Wing and we're going to be putting a few beautiful windows in the back of the old GQ. Now you were telling me a little bit about the story before of how it all started. You had an old car that you couldn't reach something. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, an old, an old Ford Maverick I had. Um, something just fell down the side, like right behind. We had a crash barrier fitted at the time. I couldn't get it out for the life of me. It was down behind the fridge. I had seen a, a, a similar product on a different model vehicle and I thought, well, why don't we have them for these? Alrighty, so we're at the back of the GQ. Now Rod, what's the first step to actually starting this process? Well, we've got to make a start by getting this old window out. <laughs> Alright, and that's an easy process I'm thinking. Oh, they can be a bit sticky, but okay. once you've got them started, they, they, they just pop straight out. Perfect. Now, really important I think is that I really want to actually give this a go myself. I know you've done a few of these, but I really want to show you at home that it is easy and we can actually do it. So, Rod, tell me what to do first. We've got to get this window out. We'd start in this top corner. Mm -hmm. I generally just start in this top corner. Mm -hmm. Once you've got it peeled out and that top released, close the window back up. That will give us some rigidity in the frame and then we can peel the whole thing out. Alrighty, what is this for, Rod? This is time to have a bit of a clean up. We need to clean up all around this frame. Okay. So that we're all prepped to go yeah. ahead with sticking the, the frame. Alrighty, so we've cleaned all of that up. What's the next step? The next bit is to open the emuing box of tricks. Wonderful. Alright, so this is the kit that you receive. Yep, this is all the box of parts that we're going to get. This is all parts. This is everything that you need to install an emuing into the vehicle. So we've got all the rubbers, all the rubbers that we'll be installing into the car. Yep. Okay, so we've got all those rubbers. Yeah, all the rubbers. What else is in the kit? Keep the weather and the dust out. Mm -hmm. Now we've got some hinges all fitted up with face plates so they're ready to install. Cool. Yeah, more hinges. We've even got glue in here to stick it. Absolutely <laughs> everything you need. You will not go to the shop at all. So you're not going to need a Bunnings run? You're not going to need anything as long as you've got some clamps handy. Okay, Ew. this is the next bit you're going to be doing. Alright, so a bit of pinch weld. Yep, that just needs to be stuck over the seam. Okay. Making sure that you capture the roof lining and any trims. Okay, not a problem. Now, starting in the middle at the bottom? Um, it, it, it's preferable so that you get you can't get water running up in yep. there or sitting in that gap. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Okay, Alicia, it's just quite important when you get mm -hmm. to the, this part and around the back, just make sure that you're capturing the trim and the roof lining. Wonderful. Okay, and what's the main importance for that? With, with the trim, it will rattle when you're on your road. Nothing more annoying. Not that the trucks don't rattle anyway. So the next part is to cut this off. Mm -hmm. Just be careful because it's actually got metal casing inside it. Okay. And try to cut just over about 8 to 10 mil over. Okay. Alright, just before you end there, Alicia, mm -hmm. we'll just pull this up and come back and tuck the front in first. It'll give you a better seal. Beautiful. This time, Alicia, we will need to use some wax and grease remover. Okay. Alrighty, so we're going to do the back of the frame and we're going to do the pinch belt. Yep. What's the reason behind in it? In preparation for the glue. The next stage is going to be gluing this in place. Okay, and we want that glue to stick. Yes. So, really important we do a good job with yes. this. So now, now we're up to the all important part. We get to stick the frame in place. I'm excited. <laughs> um, now, this, this glue is real messy stuff. Mm -hmm. So always make sure to carry some gloves. Okay. Once it's on your hands, it's on almost for good. I put the clamps nice and close by at hand because once you've actually put the frame in place you need better to grab the clamps to lock it straight in place. Wonderful, alright, give me that glue gun. Alright, <laughs> first thing I'll do is I'll just cut the end off for you. Mm -hmm. We'll try and cut it off quite small, around five or five, five mil out there. Alright, so now we're just going to try and get a really nice even bead all the way around mm -hmm. and I'll just allow it to get a bit thicker on the corners because that's where it's more likely to lift or sit higher. Okay, do you right. then use your finger after? Or no. this is all no, in this the bead? Is it. This will sit okay. straight, the frame will sit straight onto this bead. Wonderful. All right. Again, just try to keep it as even as possible. Around the corner, just picking it up a little tiny bit. Want to hand this one over to you? Sure. Give it a go. Now I noticed anyway. you had a little bit of a, a control with your... A little finger. The little finger, was it? Yep. I 
I'm happy to do it for you, this bit, if you want. And you can oh, I'll give it a go. It. When I stuff it, you can uh, jump back <laughs> in. Fantastic. So how did my glue go? Oh, I reckon you've done a great job. <laughs> that was nice and easy. Future for you as a plumber. No, oh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're now going to put the frame in, correct? Yes. I am excited, so yep. let's get this frame. Now, what's important in this process? Just, just mind these screws at the top, mm -hmm. not to get them into the glue. Mm -hmm. So just sit the top in first, and then just sit it centrally, or as centrally as you can. And obviously the clamps are nice and close by, and you can pop them straight onto the corners. Okay. Okay, tell me if I'm in the right yeah, direction. that's all working. No, Pop it's a bit harder in. than you think with your fingers, isn't it? Okay, alrighty. About there, I'm, I'm going on, I think. Well, about there, Set her on. Okay, she's right. on. Just hold okay. it in place as you reach for a clamp. And that's, that's where you appreciate having the clamps close by. Yeah, I can see why that's a, a good, good tip. So it's not as important to get it sort of perfect, I guess. Mainly it's important to get these clamps on. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll adjust it to perfect in just a moment. Yeah. Yep. That's it, what a great job. Awesome. Oh, she's so, looking good. So now if we stand back, we can see that there's a difference in gaps. Yeah, okay. the top and the bottom, the front and back. Yep. Okay, so just push on that. Yep. You may just need to release this clamp because it's sitting on the edge of the rubber. Yeah. Just release that clamp, it won't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Just it to where you want it and pop your clamp back on. And she looks pretty good to me. So the glue actually drives with, dries with moisture. H humidity, humidity rather than air drying. Okay. So it absorbs moisture to dry. And how long until this theoretically will be completely dry? There's a graph in the instructions so that you can have a look at your, your humidity, your temperature, mm -hmm. and you can have a look but you can start working on it within 24 hours in most cases. So now all we do is clamp it all up. All righty Rod, it's been the uh, 24 hours. How's she looking? It's looking really good. We're ready to roll on to the next bit now. We'll get all the door panel installed and you can start enjoying your emu wing. Excellent, all righty. So, first step for today. We'll get the support brackets in place, mm -hmm. attach the hinges. Mm -hmm. Pops up on the top here. That's correct. Yeah, and I'm guessing these go through. Correct. Alright, All right. let's get rid of these. So, how do we know which one goes where? Well, as you see, this one's got a label on it, GQ front right. Okay, no problem. So, right hand side of the vehicle. Front, At the front. Front hinge. Okay. So, the gas strut will just sit down this side out of the way. So, just line those holes up. Okay, now I'm going to hold this here. That one's now done as well. All fixed. Now you'll notice the door, the door handles are done up. Mm -hmm. They're in a closed position. Okay. So they should just sit over the frame. Now tell me a little bit about this panel. We've actually gone for the aluminium. Yes. Being we're four-wheel driving, we're doing a lot of hard tracks, that kind of thing. Um, but it also, you can do glass. Yep, we do a, yep. a hard and safety glass mm -hmm. in exactly the same panel. Mm -hmm. So for those that prefer glass. And what sort of cars can these all be fitted to? Obviously we're doing it on the GQ. Yep. What else in the range have you got? Yep, we've got the GU Patrol, the Y61 GU. Um, the Land Cruiser is covered from the 60 series all the way through to the 200 series. Um, we've got some discos. Um, there's the Jeeps. There's just a plethora of models that we saw these for. Perfect. Okay, so this is where those little button things sort of come into play, That's isn't it? That's the ones. Yep. So That's these little babies. Okay, so in terms of fitting these, now have you got a clever way to be on the inside and the outside at the same time? Um, I tend to just stand around the back of the car and reach around to pop the actual button through. Okay. And then I'm there just to put the nut on the back. Ooh. Alrighty, they are nice and tight. All right, so now we've got a, a functioning emu wing. Okay. So we can actually lift it up. Oh, how good is that? Look at this. That is great. Get all this out of the way. Okay. Put it back down. 
And you can actually see the gap at the bottom is very, there's a very small gap at the bottom. Yeah. But a big gap at the top. So now we just need to loosen off the front bolts. We'll lift the front, mm -hmm. tighten them again, move to the back until we got it in the perfect position. So now we're up to one of the final steps of installation. We're going to put the gas struts in place. The only thing to remember with these is that you have to have them this way up. There's a label on the top there that lets you know. Okay. So they go in this way up. Now they just pop in, correct? Yeah, yeah, just pop straight over the strut mounts. Okay. So now we've just got this little chalk pen. All we're going to do is, because the door's now in position, we'll just make some nice marks around in the corners. So once it's open, we know where to follow to stick the rubber on. Nothing will get in once it seals on. Now, in terms of getting this on, there's a little bit of an art to it, isn't there? Firstly, you want to run it all through. Oops. Through the hinges. So this is so you're not having to put all of it through as you're going around. Yeah, yeah. Just makes it a little bit easier. So on the outside yep. of those shots. Helps to hold it all up. Try to get it nice and central, or roughly. It's mm -hmm. not important. And again, just like when we did the pinch weld before, always good to start at the bottom. Yeah, because yep. yep, then you've got the meat where there's going to be no water sitting. Perfect, makes sense. So, start this one here. Yep. All right, so now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be following this yellow line. So right, just inside it. No, just, okay, inside. just inside. On the first close, because the rubber hasn't been set yet, the, the glue, right, so just when it gets close to where it needs to be, just use your fingers to tuck the rubber in. Okay. It just prevents the roll off. Because as it's closing down, the, the, the foam rubber is trying to roll that rubber off. Okay, so the door's over. Oh yeah. Got it. And then don't touch for a day or so. Okay, so just leave it. Just leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, that looks so good. Yep, all finished now. This is the time when the new owner gets a new keys. Oh, thank you very much. It no makes worries. it all the more special, most definitely. <laughs> Look guys, this has been so easy to install. I thought there might be a few things that would be a little bit harder. For example, getting the window out. And maybe I did use a little too much glue, but other than that, I've learned a lot in the process. It was really simple, and I'd encourage everybody to do it. You know, head onto the website, have a look, and see whether you can actually put these into your rig. Now, if you want to know more about the product or how you can actually get your own, where would we head to? Um, the best place is the website, emuwing.com.au. Perfect, and have you got a phone number? Yeah, or you can give the office a call on 03 9017 1614. There you go, guys. As I say, jump on board and uh, maybe you can get some emu wins in the back of your car.